Behind Bicycle Hut in the far north Queensland, a group of young men learns how to perfect fade. You should keep the clippers directly to get the right angle, Cassius Wallace says. One of the few young men who graduated from 18-year-old Fresh Start Academy risked learning the Berbers. Trend of young men. Cassius Wallace works as a barber after the applied training program at Cairns. The non-profit program provides free haircuts to the teacher and rude people as well as the teacher's haircuts and execution. Participants are young men who risk leaving education or continue through the justice system. The non-profit program trained and found full-time barber positions for 13 young men in Cairns. Cassius has cut haircuts as a hobby in-house, but he has learned his trade skills since Academy, and now he is working as a barber in Cairns. I didn't know that the program would take me far because I didn't even know what I wanted to do after school, so it's good far. I love haircuts. I find it satisfactory. I see a smile on people's faces after the haircut is finished. More than a haircut Rod Hodge, founder of Fresh Start Academy, received the idea that program needs young men to do something they are passionate about. Hodge, we have announced this program on Facebook and we had to download the post because we have too many calls said there are 22 people in the waiting list some are waiting to be released from the cleveland youth detention center mr hodge said program has achieved an incredible success in putting young men into employment and meeting the famine in barber industry from eight students our first program seven of them full-time jobs in barber stores and the last program we have just completed is that five of these students now full-time jobs. Barbers, says, the Fresh Start Academy educates young men in Cairns to learn skills and get things in the barber. Trade, we knew that young people would take it instantly because there was a great purchase for the culture of the barber. Future finance suspect Mr. Hodge hoped that the success of the program would provide financing but he had no chance of making it a permanent program. There is a great opportunity to normally interact with other social services from all segments of life. If nobody comes to the table, we will have to store everything. He continued I spend most of my time talking to people for organizations finance the program. They send their customers here. I don't understand. A bicycle hut in Cairns was founded as a barber studio. In a statement, Youth Justice Department said that the state has invested great investment in the proven intervention and deflection programs that have been effective reducing accusation around it. We are always open to thinking about other evidence-based programs.